Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. Today I wanted to review an item. It's a question we get a lot from customers that we help with their command websites. Uh, we set up this website for one of uh, the agents that we work with here and one of the pages that we set up was the testimonials page. So on that page we had selected testimonials to display and then we also have the leave a review option for more testimonials. And in this particular case, a new review was left by a new customer of theirs, and they did not see that testimonial actually showing up on the page itself. So the question, of course, was, well, where to go? What happened with that testimonial? And how do we get it to show up on the page? So one of the things I want to show you here is um, the testimonials don't automatically get added when they're submitted. You have the option to choose which testimonials are showing up on the page. So once a testimonial is submitted and you know that it's in there, we simply are going to go into and log into commands. We're going to actually click on designs because that's where the pages exist that we developed for the website, for the agent site. We'll go ahead and click on agent site so we're only seeing those particular pages. And we'll see here that there was a recently updated testimonial display page here. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is where we can see where the testimonials page is laid out. So again, we have testimonials up here and we have the leave a review widget down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to click configure widgets and I'm going to click here on the testimonials list and you'll see I have the option of what I'm choosing like what details I'm showing up or displaying, I'm sorry, on that page. And then we have selected testimonials. Now you might have a dozen testimonials in here. At this time, we're only able to display up to 10 testimonials, but again, we get to choose what those are. So if I scroll down here, you'll actually see a browse testimonials option and I can select or deselect any of the testimonials that I might not want showing or that I do want showing on the page. So in this particular case, after the question was brought to our attention, we went ahead and went in and selected the latest testimonial that was submitted. And once we did that, we hit continue and then we hit save and apply and then we hit save changes. Now from here, it says, would you like to continue to cite and app settings to publish your page? Yes, I want to do that because this is the latest version of the page and it drops us right into where we can set our navigation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on testimonials and I'm going to click the three little dots next to it and select page. This now lets me select the latest version and you'll see it usually shows up here on the top. It was created on February 3rd, which is today. So I'm going to go ahead and select the latest version and hit continue. And then finally, I will hit save. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just to kind of help clean some things up. I'm going to click back here on agent site pages. And what it's doing is it's making duplicate copies of that page. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. I can see now that this one is not an active page, this original one. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that just to keep this nice and clean. It's not necessary. It doesn't necessarily change what happens on, you know, or what the visitors see on their end, but it's just something I like to do because a lot of us don't understand that it actually creates duplicate pages of what we had just set up. So that is it. If you get the a testimonial and you're not seeing it on your page, that is why. We still need to go in and actually select it and dis, you know select for it to be displayed on the page as a choice. If you have any other questions, by all means, please reach out. You can email us at team at ballonbrands.com. And of course, Lori's continued resources on understandcommand.com.